Well, the Marie Walsh Sharp Art Foundation was established in the late 1980s by, by virtue of a great gift given by an absolutely wonderful lady named Marie Walsh Sharp. And she lived here in Colorado Springs. What she saw as kind of her mission was to try to help artists and, and arts in general. And she left a large legacy uh, to create a foundation back in the late 80s uh, with the expectation that that foundation would be for the arts. And the Remal Sharp Art Foundation ran two very important programs and ran both of them really, really well. One was what they called the space program. It was all about providing free studio space to artists that needed some help and artists with a lot of talent, a lot of potential, but those that needed kind of a lift, if you will. The second program was run here locally in Colorado Springs and it was the summer session. In the summer session we'd have three two-week sessions a year bringing in 25 students for each session and these were kids between their junior and senior year in high school that had great art aptitude and interest in art and they would be immersed in art just 24 hours a day basically for two weeks here in Colorado Springs. Foundation did some other things but unfortunately a few years ago it was time to transition these programs and find some other outreach uh, for Mrs. Sharp's uh, vision uh, that we could do and we hoped at that point in time to do something locally. And so we had the challenge as that board to try to figure out how could we perpetuate uh, Mrs. Sharp's vision for how do we help art and artists. We greatly admired what was being done at Pikes Peak Community College in the arts and for artists. Clearly uh, we evaluated and thought that Pikes Peak Community College did the absolute best job with studio art of any other institution in Colorado Springs and was working with students and doing a great job. And we all felt as a board that Pikes Peak Community College also reaches important students, students that need some help. And that was certainly Mrs. Sharp's vision, you know, art students need help. The facilities were not of the quality of the art that was being produced there and certainly it could use some help. So we ended up uh, deciding to make a million dollar gift to Pikes Peak Community College for use to, to really provide a much higher quality and better facility for the art students at Pikes Peak Community College. I mean, our board was thrilled with it. It's a gorgeous space and if I were an artist, I wish I had artistic talent, I don't, I would want to be studying there and, and using that space. I have uh, learned a lot about Pikes Peak Community College over the years and I'm one, I'm personally very, very impressed with what it does uh, for students and what it does for our community, quite honestly. I think many people don't realize the size and the magnitude of Pikes Peak Community uh, College. I mean, we serve 18 to 20,000 students a year. And these students are important to us. They're important to our community. Uh, Pikes Peak Community College is doing a great thing providing education in areas that our industry needs. And it's really a feeder program for our industry. And that's very important to our town, to its economic growth, and to its economic health in the long run. So I would encourage anybody in the audience, anybody that's wanting to have an impact to consider making a, a large gift to Pikes Peak Community College.